the home of the brave. From over 25 cities, we've gathered together, and I feel this is very, very important. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just the beginning. This is just beginning of, as I entitle it, a revolution. A revolution, but I need your support. If we don't emphasize on the work that we are doing, whether it be the honorees' efforts and being activists or rabbis, or, or as well as other rabbis and, and, and activists like Mr. Shochet, in all facets, in everything that we're doing, and every person in this room, then I believe Sephardic Judaism entirely is at risk. Thank all those who have put this event together and were involved in inviting me to come to it. Um, the, and the um, Sephardic uh, Legacy Series uh, for putting this on. You know, the, the Sephardic Jewish community has from the very outset of our republic, even before we were a republic, uh, contribu contributed very substantially uh, to our nation, and to its culture, to its survival. And, uh, you know, when I, when I look back and I think about uh, great Sephardic Jews in American history like Emma Lazarus and like Benjamin Cardozo, uh, these are, are um, just a, a few of the names that come to mind to most people. We are all here for one reason and one reason only, to celebrate our shared belief that our Sephardic heritage is both singularly unique and worthy of its preservation, a legacy that does not only belong in history books, or in museums, but a legacy that is very much alive and thriving, a legacy and awareness to pass on to future generations with pride and honor. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Emma Lazarus wrote these words as though the weight of the thousands of years of persecution for those who shared her religion and her beliefs had been lifted. For America, truly became a place where Jews could call home, where they continue to be an integral part of our society and help make it truly the land of the free and the home of the brave. And it could not have happened had it not been for that important and brave contributions of the very first group of Jewish settlers, those 23 Sephardic Jews from the Netherlands who came to New Amsterdam in 1654. We're all familiar with Emma Lazarus' famous words on the Statue of Liberty. There is, however, another very important quote from Miss Lazarus which rings true even today. Jews are the intensive form of any nationality whose language and customs they adopt. As a Sephardic Jew, I am proud to say that we have been an integral part of not only America's life since its beginning, but also of all the world's Abrahamic nations since their beginning. My daughter, my youngest daughter, guess what her middle name is? Emma. We named her for Emma Lazarus. You know, we heard about uh, Emma Lazarus welcoming uh, the, the waves of immigration in the late 18th century. We've heard about the Jews from Recif, how they fought for our um, right to assemble, uh, the right for religion, right to, uh, you know, the, the rights to uh, own property, the right to fight for this country. Um, th that, those rights were not necessarily a given, uh, you know, 360 years ago. And certainly um, by participating in that process over the last several hundred years, uh, we truly, um, you know, are part of what it means to be not only Jewish and Sephardic, but what it means to be American. My life experience mirrors the experience of so many Sephardic Jews facing oppression and coming here seeking freedom. You know, in my family, my grandfather actually was born in the Canary Islands and moved when he was one year old to Cuba. So we may, in fact, be distant cousins. <laughs> and my father, in turn, grew up in Cuba, and in 1957, <coughs> he fled Cuba and came to Texas seeking freedom. Fifty-five years ago, just as your ancestors. I feel privileged to be able to be here, 
privileged to be able to have a voice, privileged to not be silent when Israel is under attack, privileged to be able to not be silent when Jerusalem is in the crosshairs. The sanctions on Iran. So I am uh, hopeful but not optimistic that the United States Senate will have that opportunity to debate that uh, amendment. The Sephardim were the first Jews to come to America over 360 years ago. Was not easy, but they paved the way not only for the Jewish people in America, but also for the tolerant, open, and pluralistic society we all cherish. Paved the way indeed for much later immigrants, such as my own parents, for the development of this great nation of America. I don't know if the United States will be here at the end of time, but I know one thing. If it is not Israel's friend, it will not be. You know, when the Sephardic community, mostly Syrian where I am, uh, started coming down to the Deal area, uh, they really made a big difference in terms of the economy of the area, creating jobs, creating opportunities that weren't there before. In many ways, many of the areas where they moved into were declining until they came. And so you have been tremendous help uh, to us. During the U.S. invasion in Iraq, of Iraq in 2003, U.S. soldiers came to the Iraqi intelligence building and found thousands of Jewish documents and books, later to be known as the Iraqi Jewish Archive, in the flooded basement. It is absolutely crucial to note that these materials were stolen from the Jewish community. Hacham Avadia want to bring us back to what Sephardim Jews in the learning and teaching that we attach to the Talmud, which is the heart of the Jewish halakha, the Jewish law. We have to get back to the acknowledgement of who we are and appreciate it and keep it pure and stay Sephardim. Our goal is to complete the total series of 34 books over the next 15 years. May they... May these books spread the teachings of Hacham Uvaja Yosef to future generations and guarantee that his legacy live on forever in those who learn his works. Thank you. We share with the, our fellow Americans a desire to be open, not only to our fellow Jews, but Sfaradim traditionally were open to non-Jews as well. What enabled us to be so open to the surrounding culture? What enabled us to take the best from that culture? It was our universalistic attitude. We didn't get caught up in what made us different, but we looked to the Tanakh for what made us the same. We looked for the things that made us human, and that is at the core of what it means to be Sfaradim.